Let's get back to this breaking news. Crews responding to a train derailment in Garfield County. KOCO's Taylor Cox joins us from the scene with the details after speaking with emergency management. We're out in Fairmont this morning on the scene of a train derailment. You can see behind me what you're looking at here is the underbelly of these train cars, and you can see that the wheels are still on the track and those cars just tipped over because of the strong wind this morning. To give you an idea about how strong the wind was about 10 miles away from here at the Vance Air Force Base, the wind speeds were recorded at 84 miles an hour. That's damaging, and they did see some damage in in Enid and in Fairmont this morning in Garfield County. We actually spoke to the Garfield County emergency manager. Here's what he had to say. Yeah, there was power lines down all around this region up here. We had some lines across 74 north of Covington here a little while ago, but og and has got that under control. There are several power poles back this way towards Enid that are broke. They've been called into the dispatch, who in turn calls og and &E. So, you know, everything so far seems to be under control. So they definitely have a lot to repair here in Enid and in Garfield County as well as Fairmont this morning, uh, but they do already have a team coming up to start to repairs on this train. They said it's going to take about a day to get that done, but they have other tracks here in the city so they can rear out cars around this problem area here. Of course, we'll keep an eye on it. We'll be tracking the rest of the repairs here in Enid and in Fairmont.